I'm being taken to my new home for what is supposed to be the next 50 years of my life. I've been accused of a crime that I didn't commit, but the evidence, somehow the fingerprints, it all points directly to me. I've been framed, I've been set up, and now I'm going to prison. Yes, that's right, going from the top of the football world, one of the best players in the world of football. And now instead of playing Champions League matches, I'm gonna be playing matches in this prison yard right here. Wow, what a 180 things have just gone from. And if you're confused about what has happened, well, go back and watch the last few episodes. Go watch the entire series if you haven't to see how Dylan Davenport has gotten to this point. So, this is our life now. My only hope is that somehow, some way, someone finds the true evidence that leads to me being the one that is saved. This is my life for the time being, and I'm going to have to get used to it because it doesn't seem like it's going to be changing any time soon. From my mansion to this prison cell, my new home. So what's gone on in the meantime? Obviously, Barcelona have canceled my contract. I'm no longer a member of that team. Well, that should be pretty obvious. Throughout all the trials, my money, basically gone. I'm about broke here in prison. Not that I needed the money anyway. And all that's left is me, my roommate, and a lot of time to reflect. This could literally be the rest of my life I spend sitting right here on this jail cell floor, going out, getting my exercises in outside, and repeating the process. It's been brutal here. And it's not only because I have to live in this, uh, pretty much a box. A lot of people don't like me here. I've been committed of a crime of, well, killing one of the best footballers in the world. And the prison guards, oh, they hate me. And they let me know. This is pretty much a normal occurrence right here. And I've learned to just accept it. Because there's really nothing that I can do about it at all. How have I gone from one of the best footballers in the world to this? My life is over. Exactly one year has passed from the last scene, and it's pretty much just been my life on repeat. Go from a run in the morning, work out in the afternoon, play some footy in the prison yard, and the nights have just been brutal. Today would be the day that changes it all, though. Literally one year since I've been in here to this date, and they found something that might change this all forever. I got called over by the prison guards and well, they, they ha had a bit of a smirk on their face and they'd said, Dylan, they found the evidence. They found evidence that leads to you not committing the crime. Yes. My face absolutely lit up when I've been told you're free to go. I was free to leave this place. One year being locked up for a crime I didn't commit. Bro, there were tears in my eye. I was ready to leave. I thought I was going to be stuck here the rest of my life. And there I was, a free man. The media was outside asking a million questions. This was going to be the biggest story of the past freaking 10, 20 years. One of the best footballers committed a crime. Well, he didn't truly commit. In jail for a year, and now I'm, I'm free to walk again. Play football if I want. Bro, this is... The best day of my life. Forget what's happened. Losing a year, fine. The fact that I'm free now to walk, oh, it feels amazing. I hopped in, well, the nearest car I could find, bro, and we're off. To where? I have no idea, because I have nothing. I lost all my money in the process. I lost my home. I lost my football club. I haven't been in contact with any friends or family. Where do I go from this? Well, I truly truly don't know so when I left the prison after all that I'd gone through they give me a thousand bucks they give me a beaten down car and they sent me on my way that's right all the money that I lost in the process my house my football club apparently it, it's not coming back I got a hotel room in 
Well, I started to reevaluate my life. Where would I go from here? I hadn't been in contact with anyone. The first step I thought was to call my agent and hopefully maybe get a trial somewhere, get a football club. Who would want to sign me at this point? A player who's been away from the game for that long? And of course, with me obviously being found not guilty of the crime, they'd figured out who it was, Ronaldo. But he's escaped and he's been not found, not seen since. <sighs> I gotta figure out my life now. Where do I go from here? So I'd finally gotten a good place a month later. Yes, I'd finally got some of my some of my money back. They they'd realized they'd made a mistake, but the the hundreds of millions of dollars, well a lot of that was gone. I've been left with a hundred thousand dollars. That's it. My home, obviously had already been confiscated, that wasn't coming back. And since I hadn't played football in well ages, my rating had dropped significantly. We're literally having to almost restart our career. And my agent had told me that a lot of clubs were intimidated to sign me. Barca didn't want me back in, well, frankly, none of the big clubs wanted me back. But there was one, Aston Villa. A Premier League team, the only one in Europe of a first division who wanted me. So that's where we're going. The past is the past, man. Although I'm very upset that, I mean, I went from Barcelona to prison. The fact that I'm getting another opportunity right now after all that I've been through. A team is willing to take a chance on a player who has not touched a pitch in over a year. And this moment feels great. Finally walking out, feeling the grass. Oh, it's beautiful, man. It's a beautiful sight. I'm so excited to be playing football again. Villa was the only first division European team who wanted me. So I'm gonna show out for them. And you won't believe who we're playing in our first game. How fitting is this? Obviously, Ronaldo is no longer coach. But it's time for me to let's beat up on United. What a moment. The whole football world is surely watching. After being out for an entire season the first time, I'm gonna be able to touch a football on a professional pitch. I'm back. I'm going to make every single club out there regret not wanting to sign me. Barcelona is going to be very upset that they didn't want me to stay at their club. My first touch was a bad one, but the second one, oh, this is just the start. 1-0, and you already know how we have to celebrate against United. After all that Cristiano Ronaldo has done to me, we're doing the signature C celebration. <laughs> Yeah, oh, we had to, man. If it weren't for Ronaldo, man, I'd still be playing for Barca, probably winning off winning the Champions League or something. That needed to be done. And what a way to come back here, scoring a goal. Dylan Davenport is truly back. But we're down 3-1. Celebrating like that, bro, still down two goals. Okay, it's kind of cringe. So you already know that we got to find a way to get back in this game. That would not be the only goal. Dylan Davenport is coming back with an absolute bang. My next touch, boom, in, header, 2-3, get that ball, run it back to the spot. Two goals is awesome in my return, my debut with Villa, but I want to win. I want to beat United. We came on around the 80th minute. We've already put two goals in. We're well on our way to a hat trick, but would we be able to finish? Only minutes remain in this game. United at this point is finding every way they can to park the bus. <sighs> Boys, Dylan Davenport is making everyone regret not signing him. trick for Dylan Davenport there's no words to describe what has just happened a year away from the game and uh, it feels like it hasn't even been I don't even know two hours away from the game bro Golasso hat trick we've tied it we've come on it's not a win but bro I mean 
for me to come on and do that after all that I've gone through, you better give me that match ball. What a moment for Dylan Davenport. What a moment. It's time to have an absolutely massive year with Villa. I'm proving everyone wrong, and I might just have to go on and win Villa the Premier League this year, boys. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. So incredible that I didn't even want to leave the stadium. I'm so excited to be back playing football, and I'm going to prove everyone wrong. I'm staying at Villa, man. I mean, at this point, I could probably leave in January, and clubs would be like, okay, yeah, we, we messed up. We should have signed you. Nah. Villa wanted me, so I'm going to win it for him. And Cristiano Ronaldo, the man who put me in this position, bro, he's still not been found. That's going to be my goal. Get my revenge on Cristiano Ronaldo. Will I be able to do it? Stay tuned, because this is going to be a big season.